As Australia prepares for the 2024-2025 migration year, the government has announced significant changes to its permanent migration program, setting a cap of 185,000 places. This target reflects a strategic shift in the country's approach to immigration, particularly in response to various socioeconomic factors. With 70% of these places, approximately 132,200, allocated to skilled migrants, the new migration cap is poised to impact various sectors across the Australian economy and society. Moreover, a projected decline in net overseas migration underscores the growing complexities surrounding Australia's immigration policies. The Australian government's decision to limit permanent migration to 185,000 places for the 2024 to 2025 period marks a notable adjustment from previous years. This cap is designed to address the pressing needs of the labour market while balancing the concerns surrounding infrastructure, housing and public services. The focus on skilled migrants reflects an acknowledgement of the critical role these individuals play in driving economic growth and innovation. By dedicating a substantial portion of the migration cap to skilled workers, the government aims to fill gaps in key industries such as healthcare, technology and engineering. These sectors have been identified as crucial for Australia's continued economic recovery and development, especially in the wake of challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. The projected decrease in net overseas migration from 528,000 in 2022-2023 to an estimated 260,000 in 2024, 2025, raises important questions about the future of Australia's labour market and social fabric. This reduction can be attributed to several factors, including stricter immigration policies, rising living costs, and increasing public sentiment over the pressures of rapid population growth. Many sectors across Australia are already grappling with labour shortages and a further reduction in migration could exacerbate this issue. Industries such as hospitality, agriculture and construction, which heavily rely on migrant labour, may struggle to find sufficient workers. This could lead to delayed projects, decreased productivity and ultimately a slowdown in economic growth. Skilled migrants contribute significantly to innovation and the global competitiveness of Australian industries. By limiting the influx of these individuals, there is a risk of stifling creativity and reducing the diversity of ideas that drive progress. This could hinder Australia's ability to remain at the forefront of emerging technologies and industries. A decrease in migration may alleviate some pressure on the housing market in the short term. However, it could also lead to reduced demand for housing, impacting construction and related industries. This dual effect complicates the overall economic outlook and raises questions about sustainable growth. Migration has played a vital role in shaping Australia's multicultural identity. Limiting permanent migration may alter the demographic landscape, affecting community cohesion and the cultural diversity. This shift could lead to a less vibrant and inclusive society, which has been one of Australia's strengths. The government's decision may also reflect a growing public sentiment regarding migration. Concerns about infrastructure strain and the availability of public services have led to calls for more controlled immigration. While addressing these concerns is essential, it is equally important to ensure that the benefits of migration, economic growth, cultural enrichment and global connectivity are not overlooked. Australia's new migration cap for 2024-2025 represents a critical juncture in the country's immigration policy. With a focus on skilled migrants and a significant reduction in net overseas migration, the government is navigating a complex landscape shaped by economic, social and political factors. While the intentions behind these changes may be to stabilise the economy and address public sentiment, the implications are far-reaching. To ensure a prosperous and inclusive future, it is essential for Australia to embrace a migration policy that balances the needs of the economy with the values of diversity and community cohesion. The challenges ahead require thoughtful dialogue 
and collaboration among all stakeholders to craft a migration system that benefits everyone.